All right, we're gonna try another full self-drive test out here. This time, going on a couple freeways. Um, so let's see how this works. I've actually been more curious about the city driving with this the whole time that I've been testing it out the last couple of weeks and haven't really done much on the freeway. And I believe the freeway will just be the old kind of navigate on autopilot system, but uh, we'll see how it transitions from full self-drive I am ready for the sun. I'm gonna try to in these videos because I, I know the last few, I keep, whoa, broke pretty hard there. It kinda had to because those people got over. I um, set this on purpose to follow many, many car lengths uh, behind. And uh, because of that, and I even got a comment in one of these recent videos, someone said, why is it so far behind the other cars? I just have a habit of always leaving many car lengths from me to uh, the person in front of me. That was really strange, but that worked. Oh yeah, now it goes back to just regular old visualizations navigate on autopilot that you had before um, and oh and I need to confirm with the stock oh, shoot I shouldn't have done that but I just want to get over because there's traffic here and there was a car I should have let it handle it itself and confirm with the stock but I get impatient and didn't want to wait for all that so I'm gonna drive a little bit more my style so kind of a bad test because I should have just let it go but again I uh, I get impatient I have this set back to what I was saying I have this set to leave many car lengths in between me and the person in front of me I think and you can change this in this car with the stock yeah, I have it set to seven. Let me change it down to five. Just because I, I prefer a lot of distance. Yeah. Partially, probably like years ago, I did get, I got rear-ended rear once on the freeway and I was closely following the person in front of me. I stopped on time. The person behind me didn't have great reflexes. They didn't. And I think ever since then, I, I give myself a lot more space uh, in between. Uh, but that can be configured. That is something that you can set in the settings on the, the screen here. Uh, or you can set this follow distance here. I also have it set to the most conservative autopilot setting. So it won't try and get me over all the time. It'll keep you, you know, typically in the same lane. Um, there's an aggressive mode. Again, for me, I have it set to conservative while I get used to it. The other thing I was going to mention is in these videos, I always am very, very closely paying attention and still want to make sure that I'm being a very um, just... I mean, I would actually say I'm probably paying more attention driving this than I would normally driving myself. So with that, I always have my hands on the wheel, but I've noticed in some of these videos, you can't really tell that it's doing everything on its own because of that. It might even look like I'm using the steering wheel. So I will try purposely to keep my hands a little bit off. I'm also more comfortable two weeks in now um, that uh, here we go, a little lane change, get ready for the next exit. I'm much more comfortable with the technology than I was two weeks ago, which allows me to kind of keep my hands down and, and still ready to take action if needed. But so far, other than me taking over to get past that traffic, which it would have handled fine, 
I won't count that against it. No real need for a disengagement in this trip so far. Let's see, we're gonna exit the freeway here and get onto another freeway. And it gives me the reminder to give a little tug to the wheel. You do still need to give a tug to the wheel every so many seconds. Looks like there's a car coming over here. Let's see what it does here though. It will be interesting if, oh, let's see, I gave it a little stop there. Again, to truly test this out, I should have let it get closer. It really wasn't slowing down yet though, so I decided to take over. One day, and I think probably just a few more weeks of this, and I will let it get even closer to other cars before I hit the brake and take back over. Um, but for now, I'm fine with playing it on the safe side. Alright, so off-ramp. Now the off-ramp here, the sign says it's going to change to 30. We'll see what we do. There's no cars behind me, which I always am mindful of, just to make sure if it's not keeping the right speed, if anything else is going on, if there is a car right behind me. Again, at that time, I'll take over as well and um, just make sure that I'm in full control. See, it wants to change lanes. Since I'm on the regular Navigate on Autopilot in this vehicle, I need to confirm with the stock. It doesn't do that automatically. I know FSD version 11 is coming out soon. We'll see what soon means. And that will take all of the full automation of city driving and bring that to life on the freeway too. It'll be a, a like one stack of code, uh, which will be really cool to see. It'll be interesting to see on a freeway like this, how much extra you see in the visualization. I think there's going to be a ton. Right now, you know, you can, you can notice I'm only able to really see three lanes of data and that's it. On expressways in the city that are similar in this size, I see much, much more data. I see all three, four lanes here, plus three, four lanes on the other side of the street. Um, people crossing, bikes, everything. You know, now that I'm on the freeway, I'm much more limited to the old, the old view here. We're gonna exit off the freeway in 0.9 miles. Let's see when we get over does say there's an upcoming lane change happening. The thing that I always think is the most interesting is how it really decides when to get over. You know, there was a spot kind of back there. If you're conservative, I, I would have jumped in back there. If you're more aggressive, I would punch it now and then get over. Um, yeah, now it gives me the confirm, so it wants to get in right here, which is a fine place to enter in. And here we go. All right, now, should be exiting soon. This is a fairly short exit, I believe, and it goes down to probably 25 pretty quick, so we'll see how quick it starts to break and what really happens here in this transition. This will be interesting. Now, there's a car behind me, so I'm gonna keep, and keep kind of my, no, nope, it switched right at the off-ramp there, it switches right back to full self-drive mode and you can tell because now you have the red where the curbs are the edges blinker yeah slowed down really smooth right there all right and let's see we've got a green light turn so this should be smooth and there we go that was good and gets you over immediately totally solid we're driving 25, we're in a 25, but it really feels slow. Again, here's where it's playing it by the book, but as a human, you would drive 
much differently. Um, all right, gets over and a <laughs> little, little weird shake there. And here we go. Left turn and we are at the destination. I'm gonna kick it off here and make sure I can pull it into the parking lot. And we are arrived. So it pretty much took us from spot to spot other than me getting in the way twice, uh, which I didn't need to. It got us here. And thanks everyone. I will continue making a couple more of these and like the video, subscribe, comment with things you'd like to see, and I will keep recording away.